Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook tip of the day. Today's going to have a few tips, and it's called Outlook Tips and Tricks. Well, you're probably listening, as you get listening, you're going to be like, she's not really giving us any tips for Outlook. Well, let's call these things you should do before you do tips and tricks, okay? It's kind of like a kickoff is what I'd rather call it. It's a lot of people, they have problems with Outlook. It's slow, it's sluggish, and those are things that you can fix quite easily yourself, or I can assist also. But... Um, I'm going to go through five things that I do when I check people's computers and I'm also going to put a, I'm going to put a link in the bottom of the video. It's called my onboarding checklist. So if you're a technician and are searching for this or whatever, you can follow, it's like 16 or 17 things that I do to computers. I look for things so I can see the entire system before I troubleshoot. It's very helpful. Number one, make sure you're logged into your Microsoft Office account. A lot of times people aren't logged in so then it glitches up with Outlook and it won't behave right. So to do that, you can open up your Outlook. I'll walk you through here. Open up your Outlook, go to File, Office Account, and up by the user information, it says Account Information, and you can log in, and if you don't see it, you're gonna see Account Error, Fix Me. It means you log in. After you're logged in, then you're set up with Outlook, logged into the Office Account, then also look at your Office subscription while you're there to see what you have. A lot of people don't even know. And that I find that most people don't do and it's very helpful to be logged in. Number two is make sure you've done all your Windows updates. I stress this constantly to clients. Um, they always go, well, it just automatically does it or it says it's up to date. I don't believe it. I think that Microsoft has a big mess right now with their updates. So what you can do is go down to your search area, by your Windows icon, type in updates. I'm gonna do it right now to make sure I'm telling you the right stuff. Type updates check for updates even if it says you're up to date click the button check for updates there's four big updates that everybody's missing right now 1803 1809 1903 and 1905 those four one of them is probably going to come down and it's going to be a big one 1905 is the feature so that means you have to download it run it don't expect to use your computer for a while it's going to be that big but i but you almost have to do them these days then, number three is make sure that your IMAP and Exchange accounts are backed up. A lot of people don't think you have to back them up because they're on a server. True, but Outlook is running them through a cached file. So what happens when you set up IMAP is you're gonna see this as um, in the calendar and in the contacts, this computer only. That data is only in Outlook that is not on a server anywhere. And that's the default, if that's the first account you set up in Outlook, okay? So I tell folks, go um it's called the app data folder and typically what i do is in people's outlooks i'll walk you through it or in their outlook go to file then account settings in your account settings you're going to see your email accounts pick an imap one go to data files which is the second tab over go pick that imap account it should end in a dot ost click open file location that file, it's gonna be a Windows C drive, the users, and then the account profile name, app data, local, Microsoft Outlook. That entire folder, all of those files are typically not in online backup systems and you need to have those there. So I always recommend using Carbonite. I have a link in the bottom of my notes there. You can click on it if you wanna sign up. I get a few dollars. Um, once Carbonite's all set up, and, and backed up and everything, you can go to that app data folder and you could right click on any of the OST accounts and say add to backup. I highly recommend it because this computer only is a very dangerous file. If you were to have problems with that account and you had to remove it, it deletes all the calendar and contacts with it. Very hard to recover, okay? Exchange, you shouldn't typically need to back that up because it should be, but again, I've seen some exchange accounts go rogue People have a ton of data in them and it's not on the server, you lose that as well. So you can back up the OSTs and at least you have a daily recovery of that. Uh, OneDrive, many folks log into their computer uh, when they first get it and they sign in with a Microsoft account that they force you to get because they don't show you the link that says make a local account and you have a OneDrive account. So the OneDrive is down in your system tray down by your clock if you click that little plus arrow, you're gonna see a OneDrive 
it'll tell you if you're logged in or not. So here's a tip. If you're logged in, all that data in that OneDrive is up in the cloud. You maybe didn't know that. The other thing is if it says you're not signed in, it might be trying to synchronize files and that might be why your Outlook is slow because it's trying to do other work. I find that happens a lot. And finally, this is kind of a big one. A lot of people have too much data in their inbox, they're sent and deleted. So those three are the common folders, okay? So if you can look at your inbox and if you see a total at the top of like, you know, 50,000 plus, it's time to get that managed before you have a problem. Inbox sent and deleted are the first things I do. I archive them to a local Outlook PST file and then uh, they're, in, they're in your Outlook and searchable at the same time so you're not ever missing data. And you could share that PST file in another location as long as they don't synchronize. Do not put it in OneDrive. OneDrive is not a good place for any Outlook data at all, period. So that's my tips and tricks. I know it's not productivity tips, but I hope this helped you anyway. Um, you know, if I get enough likes on this video, I'll make some more videos about Outlook tips, but I just want to see how this goes first, because I could literally do hours of tips and tricks for Outlook. Uh, if you need to get, contact me, you can email me, lisa at callthatgirl.biz. Call me at 612-865-4475. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thanks. See ya.